video is going to show you how to calculate and interpret percent error. So let's start off with an initial experiment. Let's say you flip a coin 10 times and you get nine heads. So the question is, how far off are you from what you expected? So percent error is a calculation that can tell you that information. Formula for percent error is observe minus expected divided by expected, and then you're going to multiply that by 100 to get percent. So percent error is the amount of difference between expected and observed quantities. So we think about observed. Well, what's observed? Well, that's exactly what we got in our experiment. So for observed, we would say nine because we got nine heads. Now, expected is what you expected to get. Well, knowing that there are two sides to a coin, you flip a coin 10 times, well, you expect it five times to get heads and five times to, to, to get tails. But in this case, we're looking at the percent error of heads, so we have expected as five. So you can do the, the math, right? So nine minus five is four. Four divided by five is 0.8. And then 0.8 times 100 is 80%. So in this experiment, we got an 80% error, which in most cases, if you got 80% error, um, that would be considered significant. So now why don't you try a problem? So let's change the numbers a bit. So let's say you're still flipping the coin and you flipped 80 times and you got 20 tails. Uh, what is the percent error for tails? So pause the video. Uh, think about the answer, unpause it when you're ready to discuss it. So if you did the math correctly, uh, should have got uh, 20 for your observed, 40 for your expected, because you expected 40, 40 and 40, heads and tails. Um, so 20 minus 40, you should have gotten a negative number, uh, negative 20. And negative 20 divided by 40 is negative 0.5. Negative 0.5 times 100 is negative 50%. So you notice here that you um, have a negative percent error. So you think about what that means. In the first case, you got a positive percent error. In this case, you got a negative percent error. So I'm going to take a moment just to think about what exactly does that mean. Um, I'll give you a hint. Compare the observed and expected in both cases, and that should tell you when you get a positive percent error, when you get a negative percent error. So pause the video, think about it, unpause when you're ready to discuss it. So you probably notice that in the positive percent error, that means that your observed number was larger than your expected number, right? Because observed minus expected will be a positive number if observed is larger than expected. So you get a positive percent error when you have when you observe more than what you expected. Then the opposite is true for negative percent error. In negative percent error, you observe fewer than what you expected, right? So when you do observe minus expected, if observe is smaller than expected, you get a negative number. So in a negative percent error, you observe less than what you expected. So the Positive and negative percent error gives you important information. It tells you whether your observed was larger or smaller than your expected percent error. So hopefully uh, you understand percent error and know how to calculate it and know how to interpret it. Thank you.